if they say your hair is crazy and that's an indication of how crazy your day has been <laughs> hello hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you what i eat today i accidentally forgot to show you my breakfast but i had a protein shake two scoops of chocolate pe science vegan protein plus the macadamia almond cashew blend milk from trader joe's some ice it was awesome. So that's what I have for breakfast, but I'm gonna share with you my lunch, which I just had. And I have such exciting news. Guess who went for a run this morning? Me, I went for a run this morning. Not like a super crazy, oh my God, I went and ran five miles or anything like that, but I did run and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So today is just like a what I eat in a day, but I'm also gonna give you my workout kind of routine schedule, what, whatever you may call it, what I'm gonna do for the next three weeks, for the next 21 days. So that way, if you need some motivation, you need some ideas, we're gonna sit down, lay out a calendar together. I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing. And you're probably thinking, why 21 days? Also, you might be thinking, I watched a video not too long ago and you said you couldn't work out for 10 weeks. What gives, girl? So, said this in my last like, update video if you will why i wanted to lose weight um that i do get a break from meds kind of i actually go back on meds tomorrow but until the transfer meds start i can work out the meds i have to pick up in a couple of hours are my birth control again i thought i said goodbye to that forever but not the case if you're wondering why i'm being on birth control you're probably thinking oh you must have a chance of getting pregnant your doctor doesn't want you to get pregnant when you're on a fertility journey and you just did egg retrieval and you're about to do transfer no we have a very 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 small chance of getting pregnant on our own probably one in one millionth it's still a chance it's not why i'm on birth control i'm going on birth control so my body can have a break i just got my cycle i got cleared to work out i can do all the things again but because i just had such a big egg retrieval my doctor wants me to not ovulate this month to give my body a break so when we do the transfer my hormones are like looking so superb my blood work already looks like amazing everything's looking good my lining everything but it just gives my body a break anytime you can give your body a break thumbs up so it's unfortunate i don't like that stuff it made me feel so bad the last cycle i took it in july but maybe this time will be better maybe my body will be like "Ooh, we recognize you let's be friends or maybe it'll be like we hate you you can't sit with us but i have to pick that up later so I'm gonna show you lunch, the workout schedule. Um, if you want the run that I did this morning, I will type it and put it in the description box. It's an interval run. You can jog if you want to, you can run, do whatever. I won't put any of the speeds down there. T completely up to you. And then I'll share with you my workout later tonight because I am gonna work out tonight. I'm just too excited not to. Tomorrow morning I'll probably wake up and not be able to move, but it's okay. It's fine. And then, oh, I'll share with you my dinner tonight. I'm gonna make a really good dinner. I had a Green Chef box delivered this afternoon while I was finishing a birthday cake for a friend. And yeah, I'm excited because they have some new meals I've never tried before and I'm super excited about it. So there's the day. <laughs> oh, I was saying, uh, you're probably running why it's only three weeks while I'm working out. I just chose at this time to break everything down in small increments and that is, what I have planned right now. I have three work three weeks before my next round of blood work. Let's see where I'm at. So let's get through the next three weeks together. If you want to follow my workout plan, I will leave the workouts that I will be using on YouTube linked in the description box so you guys can save them if you want to. All right, let me share with you what I had for lunch. Are you at all shocked that I had a salad for lunch? Let me know down below if you're shocked. <laughs> leave me a comment or let me know if you were expecting this. This is just a reminder that you don't have to overcomplicate your meals. I know I get so many comments from people saying, I really enjoy watching your videos because your meals are so simple. Keep it simple. You don't have to overcomplicate things, buy fresh ingredients, throw them together and make a salad. If you're not a salad person, I'm sorry, but salads are awesome. And then here's my snack. I just had a couple handfuls of almonds and this barbell bar. I really like these because they're high in protein and it's just like the perfect take and go snack. Like I already said, I had Green Chef delivered this day for dinner and that made it so exciting because Green Chef helps me eat clean and live a healthy lifestyle. There were also three new recipes that I had never tried, so I had to take a second and figure out what to make. Green Chef makes it so easy to eat clean, quality food 
that you can feel really good about. Every Green Chef customer gets a free session with their nutritionist, so sign up and start your journey towards better health today. Discover eating flavors and unique ingredients that support your healthy lifestyle. Something I find really helpful for me that I just want to make note of is I love that everything comes pre-packaged and pre-portioned, so that way if I have an allergy to anything, my husband can still eat it. It doesn't impact the meal in any way, and it still makes it enjoyable for me. Use my code 60MIRANDA to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. I always get questions on how I get so creative in the kitchen. It's because I try not to hit the boring button. Green Chef really helps me stay creative. They help us with date nights and they're super convenient. I love that on any given week, if I'm just feeling like not cooking, I can get one of their meal boxes delivered to my door and then I'm so excited to cook because of what's inside. Like I said, use my code 60Miranda to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Okay, now let's talk workout calendar. One thing that's really hard for me is to not do everything every single day, especially when I know that I only have so much time. Like I said, I have three weeks before my next blood work. I do have a transfer date. I'm not sharing that with you guys yet because things might change. So I'm just doing it little bit by little bit, but it's hard for me to just not be like, okay, I'm so excited to get back to working out and I'm gonna have to take another break. So let's do everything. But I know that my body just went through an incredible, <laughs> incredible feat and only working out for three weeks after not doing much for a month, I need to take it easy. So I'm going to do Sydney Hootie Shell's new program. I know it launches September the 4th and I'm going to do that four days a week. That's about a 30 to 40 minute workout and that's it for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Tuesday, Thursdays are going to be my cardio days and then Saturdays I'm going to do Pilates. Now I will try to get 10,000 steps in a day, even on the days that I may not do quote unquote cardio because I still want to be active to get my TDEE up. This is just something that I'm hoping to implement as I get stronger when it comes to my pregnancy. I don't want to hang everything up. I want to have a good, strong pregnancy. Now I will say this is the workout I did this evening. I did two things this day. I kind of chat about that here in a little bit. I do not plan to do that every single day. I was just really excited because this was day one. I was cleared the day before that I could start working out. And like, again, it's just really hard for me not to do everything. If you love to work out, you'll understand. I only did half of this 40 minute workout. And let me tell you the day that I am doing a voiceover on this, which is two days later, I am so sore. It's incredible how you can feel like you can lose your strength so fast or your muscular endurance. I'm also going to share with you here at the end, so stay tuned. You're going to run a mile with me, and it was incredible. I decided to get up the next morning and just see if I could do it. Because it had been four weeks since I had ran, I didn't think I could, especially after doing intervals the day before, but it's really mind over matter. Like I said, this upper body workout I am so sore from. It's really incredible, but I'm so excited to start Sydney's new program. Let me know down below if you're going to try it. You'll find her page linked down below from YouTube. You're also going to see the Pilates that I plan on doing. I will link that, and I will just kind of type out in the description box kind of like my workout plan in case you're curious if you want to adapt it to your own or if you're looking for some new ideas. Hopefully, it can be helpful for you. Before you scold me and say, oh my gosh, you're doing too much, I only... <laughs> my earphones thought I was talking to them. I only did half that workout and I feel so good. Sometimes just moving some weights makes you feel so good. Anyways, thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. It's late. It's like almost nine o'clock. I've got to shower and get to bed because I have to get up early for work tomorrow. This is the only day that I will be doing like a double workout. I just had to today. I had to for myself. I had to run, I had to lift, I don't know, I just, I had to. But check out the links down below for workouts, check out the workout schedule I typed, and of course the run I did this morning. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye. Good morning, it is 4.17 a.m. and I'm gonna go out and see if I can run a mile. Now, I have not ran, except for yesterday's intervals, in a month. I'm tired, I'm beat, um, but I'm gonna do it. I don't care how slow I am. I don't care how bad it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna run a mile today. This was a really emotional run for me because I'm basically a daily runner. Since I started running in 2016, there hasn't been many days that I skipped a run. Sure, I skipped a run if I didn't feel well or if it was not on my training plan, 
But 2019, 2020, and 2021, there was really only like 10 days each year that I didn't run. So for me, taking an entire month off was one of the most emotional things about IVF. So this was such a spectacular feat. I'm so glad I woke up this morning and just decided to do mind over matter because it was really worth it for me. Thank you for being here and watching. Not my best time, probably my absolute worst <laughs> mile of my life, but I am so freaking happy. The high I have right now is like higher than any finish line I've ever crossed, any long run I've ever done, because I know what my body has done over the last two months, over the last month, and stop running and then two months of all just all the changes it's been on like my husband was out here he just left for work and like cheered me on for the last quarter so if you saw me like talking or whatever and then I just like lost it 1109 I'll take it <laughs> I have three weeks to improve upon it <laughs> is how I'm looking at it and then we'll assess the next goal so today is Thursday um, August 31st, so it's the day before my actual workout calendar starts, but I'm still following that calendar. So Wednesday, yesterday was a workout with Sydney day. I did do cardio in the morning because I just couldn't help it. Today is just a cardio day and running was the goal. I ran one mile. I'm going to walk and do a few more intervals, but I couldn't end this video without adding this on because I'm just so happy and I know all the runners out there will understand. If you are someone who has never ran before, let this be your sign that if you've ever wanted to, you can do it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this mile. It was, I, I'm gonna be smiling all day. Have an awesome day and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye.